Do you have anything? Um. I was gonna say, uh. My mentality is just to be still and not have so much thoughts, craziness. So, learn how to hear God's voice in the stillness. Get to know my friend. God's voice might come in the sound of the lapping up of the water. It can come as your own thoughts. It can come as an intuitive intuition, you know, an intuition, intuitive feeling. It can come as the sun on our skin. It can come as my voice or as your voice. It's happening right now in this monologue that we're having. You don't have to get to know his voice. You simply need to recognize it's in all things. And when your mind is no longer, when you are no longer thinking that the dual, the dual world that you're living in, or that you're experiencing, is real, then you hear his voice in everything. But you're not looking for something outside of the moment. When you're looking for something outside of the moment and you think God's voice is always going to another another thing, uh, in other words, you you hear God's voice or and you think that it's about your past or you hear God's voice and you think that it's about your future, God is not interested in your future. Only your mind is. God is not interested in your past. God is simply present, the all-present one. And you are learning as that divine essence, being one with Him, what it looks like to be present as Father, as Spirit. This is not your Spirit and His Spirit. This is not your Spirit and my Spirit. It's one Spirit. Rising up in different manifestation. When you identify as the body and you identify as the mind, and you think that God is speaking to your mind about a future moment, you've missed the Father. You've missed the Father in you. The Father is always speaking to bring you f deeper and deeper into this present moment. He is not speaking to lead you somewhere. There is no future moment. Even, even in the Bible, Christians are often always prophesying about a future moment, but even in the Bible... God was always speaking in Christ. Every prophetic word was in Christ. It wasn't in time. It wasn't that God was speaking in time. He was speaking in Christ. You cannot understand this if you're thinking linearly. Your mind can't understand it. can't grasp it. Everything is about you being immersed and sinking deeper and deeper and deeper into Christ. In Christ. The Christ, not Je I'm not talking about Jesus. I'm talking about Christ. That's what it's all about. It, he is not speaking to you so that you can make a bunch of money, small r reality, or so that you can uh, one day have a big ministry or whatever. He is he is speaking to you in Christ, revealing Christ, 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 Christ. And that expression, the more that you realize the Christ, the more that this expression simply and effortlessly rises up. But that is, things might happen, but when they happen, it'll be presently happening. It will not be, I'm getting this unction for then. People are always wanting to live toward, towards a future moment. Always planning and preparing and trying to have goals and trying to reach those goals and planning for a future moment. There's no future moment. Let it go. When you're really present, it'll effortlessly, things will effortlessly take place. And now you're not building your own kingdom where that will ultimately crumble. You're not putting your hope in a false, in a, in a tomorrow or in a, you're not, you don't have a false hope. Because see, when you, 
when you are looking towards a non-existent tomorrow, that, that thing is a false hope. It will never come to fruition. It will always disappoint you. And even in the moments when you think that it actually did bring you something, you will find out later it disappoints you. <laughs> it will still crumble at some point. Because everything that can be shaken will be. But it's only to reveal who you are. The unshakable one. Okay. So, be still and know that I am God. Not him out here, but that I am God. Okay? Hear him in the, the, the water and the wind. Feel him on, on the skin. More, more than all of that, experience him within. Presently. You don't need to hear his voice so that you know what to do next. There is no next. If you're trying to hear his voice so you know what to do next, you have not, you have not yet even recognized God or union, or oneness. You haven't, you haven't seen Christ at all. There's no next. Jesus is on his way to to Jerusalem. He know, knowing that he's going to be crucified, and Peter's like, "We can't go. You're going to be crucified. No, I will never let you." Jesus is like, "Behind me, Satan." He was just presently walking. I know that this is where this path is leading because I know all things. But I'm just in this present moment. Peter's, Peter is jumping ahead into that other moment. I won't let this happen. Get behind me, Satan. You have not in mind the things of God but of ego, of man, of the devil. Because the devil is always looking for another moment. Man, ego, is always looking out, outside of himself for pleasure. Always looking to another moment trying to stop it, trying to make it happen, trying to be successful, trying to not be a failure, always trying to make something happen. Jesus said this is the work of the devil. Just be here. Maybe maybe here is leading to crucifixion. Hallelujah. Then be present in your crucifixion. And know that if it can die, it was not you. <laughs> if it can die, it's not you. Thanks for watching our video. Give us a thumbs up, comment, thoughts, questions in the section below. Let us know what you want to hear from us. Subscribe to our channel for more life-changing content. And as always, check the section below for our website, for live events, where we'll be, what we're up to, more about us, and our online school website is listed below as well. We love you. We're glad you're here. We want to hear from you. We're in this with you.